Hello, and welcome to the Anderson System. We have 17 authors and counting. Thank you very much for visiting our channel, and please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you once again. Now let's get started. Hello there, this is Adam again from the Anderson System. And remember to like and subscribe if you want to get more content about DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder. And so today um, on this channel, I want to talk to you guys about ULTA preferences. That's right, ULTA preferences. Now, if you have DID, you kind of understand what I mean. Every ULTA have their own type of preference or their own type of uh, desire that they like. Like, for example, food. Now, food and ulters can get really um, strange. It can um, definitely mess up your food budget. Um, if you have um, a meal plan set for the week, it can definitely mess up your meal plan. Like for instance, I have one author named Matthew. Now Matthew loves deli sandwiches. He can eat deli sandwiches all day, every day, 24 hours a, a day if you have to, even 365 days a year. That's how bad it is with Matthew. And Matthew is eight, but he's an age slider, so he can, turn, he can be from like eight to like, um, 15 or 16. So it all depends on, I guess, I don't know how it works with that, but he slides ages. But most of the time, he's eight years old. And so Matthew, he loves deli sandwiches. Matthew hates, I mean, hates peanut butter and jelly. And so if my wife is, um, you know, doing lunch and she decides to do peanut butter and jelly, and Matthew is fronting, Matthew will refuse to eat the peanut butter and jelly. He'll probably even get mad and throw it on the floor because he does not want to eat peanut butter and jelly. And so basically, he has a freaking tantrum. And so, um, yeah, and it's weird because, you know, my body is 44 years old. And so you got a 44-year-old man having a tantrum over peanut butter and jelly sandwich because you're not ultra fronting. How embarrassing that is. And so Matthew hates that. And um, also Matthew hates pizza. For some reason, he hates pizza. I like pizza, but he hates pizza. And sometimes Matthew doesn't fully front. Sometimes Matthew, what he can do is that he can blend with me. Now, ultras, they tend to blend if you don't have DID. What blending means is that an ultra can blend with um, the host personality. And basically, it's like it's like a blended soup. Like it'll be, it'll be like me and Matthew. Our, both of our personalities will be blended together. And so I have some of his desires. And so if I'm blended, I'm still present in my body. And so um, if I'm still present in my body, but Matthew's blending with me, um, Matthew can send signals to my brain to say, I hate pizza. And even though I'm present in them and I'm there too as well, it's very confusing for people on the outside because they're like, Adam, I thought you like pizza. I'm like, no, I hate pizza. And just the thought of it sometimes make me sick because I'm getting Matthew's vibration or Matthew's signal. I don't know how that works with the brain, but his signal to my stomach. And I really feel like I'm about to throw up thinking about pizza, thinking about peanut butter and jelly or, or whatever it may be. And so Matthew, his diet is simple. Deli sandwiches, um, uh, chicken nuggets. He likes chicken nuggets. Uh, fish, not fish tacos, but um, uh, fish fingers. He likes those a lot. Is is it's a very tolerant centered um, uh, application with them when it comes to food. And other authors too. I got one author. Well, I got like three or four authors. Sorry about that. Because I was one of the two others. Um, dietary um things is that they are vegetarian, and so I like hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff like that. And they hate that stuff. Nicole, she does not deal with it. She's like, no, we shouldn't be killing animals. And so if there's any um. Uh, if I'm not eating a Beyond Burger, she's not going to eat the regular hamburger. She hates that. And so it is really frustrating, especially for my wife when she tries to make a meal plan for the week, that um, the meal plan always changes with me because the altars will come in, either as a forefront or maybe a blend, and um, they don't want to, they refuse to eat a certain meal or a certain thing that's set in front of them just because they have such um, intense preference about a certain thing. Now, this doesn't just go for food. It also goes for... Um, Clothing as well. Like I have some altars that hate wearing um blue. Like I'm wearing a um a kind of like a bluish um shirt right now. They they hate that. Well, I got some altars that don't like jeans. I got some altars that that um uh, that may not like a certain um style of um that I'm wearing. And so we have to like fight usually about what kind of style we're having. So usually I'm trying to wear more of a gender neutral kind of um uh thing with my altars because um. It can get really intense, especially when it comes to um, other genders. I got altars of other genders as well. And so um, they have their own different types of preferences. And also when it comes to preference too, it's also like TV, entertainment. Like I got one altar that will hate a show. And I know that I like the show. Like I want one altar who hates Star Wars. And my wife's like, 
You said you like Star Wars. You used to watch Star Wars with me all the time, blah, blah, blah. Now you hate Star Wars. And she's, she's getting upset because she thinks like a single again and forget to have DID. And I have one alter who hates Star Wars. He thinks Star Wars is the most stupidest thing on the planet. He doesn't understand why they created it. And so he does not like Star Wars. And he also hates Spider-Man. Anything that's Marvel, oh my gosh, Marvel. Yeah, I can't watch Disney um, in, um, streaming services sometimes because he hates it. And sometimes it's either a blending where I get his feelings of it. And I'm thinking, why the hell do I hate this? But I still can't stop the blending of it. Or it's just a full front where um, when we, with us, when it's a full front, it's usually an amnesia barrier. So I don't know exactly what he said when he was out. But I kind of get the picture when, I, when I'm back that um, this ultra had a, um, what's that word? Um, a tantrum. And so it's weird when you're 40 years old and you have tantrums. And so preferences equals tantrums. And so we, I'm trying to work with my therapist to how to um, do this better because it's kind of hard to even just set meal plans and set entertainment without an alter um, influence in that part of my um, life. And so anyway, this is Adam from the Innocent System. And remember to like and subscribe. Thank you. Hello, this is Innocent System. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.